on the left side. Seven bridges in a row. Seven, seven bridges in a row? It's the only place in Europe. Seven bridges seven in a row. Bridges seven. In a row. Wow. Seven bridges in a row. Superb. This is the only place in Holland where you can see seven bridges in a row. In Europe? In Europe. In Europe. The only place in Europe. It's the only place in Europe where you have seven bridges in a row. Uh, we have 1600 bridges here in Amsterdam. More as Venetia, Italy is 1400, but the number one is Hamburg. Hamburg had 2100. 2100 Hamburg. Thank you, that's amazing. Richard's part, all the wealthy people live here. In the old days. Five oh two is where the mayor lives. The mayor. He's the mayor here. The mayor the, the mayor of Amsterdam lives at five oh two, right here. The mayor. The inside is very, very beautiful. It's very deep. Wow. That's the mayor. It's not so big as Windsor Castle. I have to try and build one in Jaywick. <laughs> Look at that. Got to bring Jaywick here, haven't we? Smiley face. in vogue. As a gentleman, you might join your host in a deep colored smoking room. A lady, your hostess will receive you in a light blue salon or tea room. Here, you'd sip imported tea from China while looking out over a beautifully manicured garden. 
no one ever sat in the gardens, it had ruined their fashionable white skin. Musical concerts and grand parties were common, and each house had many rooms dedicated to entertaining. For a first-hand glimpse of life inside an opulent canal house, there are two wonderful museums in the area, the Hilvink in Lumen House and the Villet Hulthausen. virtual holiday all of you because you all deserve a virtual holiday enjoy and shine on Wales watching Wales watching and that's our captain we love you captain good man well we are having a great time and you are with us on a virtual holiday. Yeah, here on your right side, that is the smallest channel of Amsterdam, here. Bullocksloot, houses direct underwater, like Venetia, as you here. Sorry, we passed it. <laughs> <laughs> well done. On that side is a funny of you must of the roof, over, I told you over one minute, two minutes, right? Wow. Thank you. I won't be able to get the thing. Okay. When shall I go? What now? So, two bridges, then I'll go. After 50 minutes, I show you, no panic. Thank you, sir. Yeah, no You're a very good man. It's very, it's very... And it was three years ago happening that uh, I was a man, he was standing on the... He yeah. said, he said, between the Ooh. roof and the bridge. Oh. Oh. He lost his roof, cop, and the, and, and the captain, he lost his job. <sighs> yeah, mate. Yeah. These carved and sometimes colorfully painted stones were set into a house's facade, often above the door. Pictures made reference to the occupant's religion, profession, or their family crest. For example, a butcher might have a picture of a lamb, a dentist might have a tooth, a window. Illiteracy was high. Yeah, here, rest here on your right side by the camera on the on the green gable. The camera is the narrow house, the smallest house. House is one meter here. By the camera, the green green front, one door, one window, one window. There's a fence here, see? Here the green front, the green gable here. Uh, in the house, in the house, living student girls. No problem, it's safe. There is no place for a boyfriend. You can challenge yourself by getting 
guessing what they might be. You may have noticed that most of the city's houses are made of brick. That's because bricks could be made locally. They were very porous compared to bricks of today and had to be oiled, tarred, or painted to protect them against the weather. You'll only see stone on the facades of the wealthiest of homes because it had to be imported, costing much more than brick. For the shoppers among us, to the west or left of here is a unique shopping district called Nechen Stratyas, or Nine Little Streets. Each street is a block long and full of quirky boutiques and specialty shops. It's a relaxing and fun place to explore. had left him a sizable inheritance. The facade has two inscribed panels that reflect Bartolotti's and many other 17th century businessmen's values. They read through talents and diligence wow. and through piousness and virtue. Homes like Bartolotti's were designed to showcase their owner's enormous riches, and yet this was a time when Calvinistic views predominated. Calvinism is a form of Christianity that emphasizes strict living and industriousness. The rich found themselves in conflict. Their religion required them to be humble, yet with so much wealth, how could they not show it off? Often they ended up quietly trying to outdo each other. In the 17th century, this neighborhood sprang up outside the city walls to house the growing population of poor laborers and immigrants who served the city's wealthy. Through the 19th century, the Jordan continued to be a district for the industrial working class, known for its outspoken inhabitants, romantic flavor, and community spirit. Today, it's become one of Amsterdam's most popular residential districts. Crafts and trade people still live here, along with students and artists, and most recently, an influx of well-to-do young professionals. The Jordan has many charms. A bustling marketplace, little cafes and pubs, hidden courtyards, and art galleries. If you have time, wander through narrow cobblestone alleys and experience the lifestyle of true Amsterdammers today. One more thing to note about the residents here. If so much as a single ray of sunshine is out, expect to see locals dragging their
Spear your way. It's the most skilled there. Okay. Well, interesting for you, mate. No, I appreciate you. Thank you. So when you tell me, I'll move out your uh, way. When, we, when I, I told you. Thank you, sir. Behind the bridge. You, you're a very good man. I appreciate I you helped me. I know, man. My give, dad said that. Give my friends a virtual holiday. Thank you. It's this man here that gave us a virtual holiday in Jaywick, guys. Thank you. Good driving. What a driver. What a driver. He's a champion driver.
was that the Sydney Opera House? That over there? Museum, yeah? A movie museum. Yeah, it looks good. Wow, we're in the sea now, yeah? We're in the sea. Okay. It's getting very really wide here, isn't it? Now we have the, the lock, the sea locks. Yeah. And behind the sea lock is the notch. Wow. Well, so you control the amount of water that comes in? We have below the water level right here. Five meters below water level. Wow. When the dike is broken, I'll be out in a boat, no problem. Yeah, wow. Five meters below seawater. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The most part of Holland, eh? So clever, your country. Yeah. You know that, it's not the reason that Holland is famous for the idea of below the level. You use the windmills to bump all the water out? You know, you know what she said? God created the world, but Holland make of the Holland good people, she make Holland. It's very good. <laughs> <laughs>
coach. Yes, yes. A water coach. A water coach? Wow. That's a water coach, that yellow one. Yeah. Look, a coach in the water. That is a coach in the water. When have you ever seen a coach in the water? You have now. Look at that. Superb. Phones fell in the water. Hmm? As many phones fell in the water. Probably. Did you? Oh, did you make your pocket? Oh no. Did you get it back? Five meters deep. Yeah. On the ground. Goodbye, phones. It's horrible when it happens. Oh, it's horrible. You do it all, didn't you? Is that the St. Nicholas Cook Church there? Yeah. Yep. What year is that? What year? St. Nicholas Church? Wow. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it to here so they can hear. I should, I should have done it from the beginning, but I'm selfless. So I'd rather let them hear than me. That one, that work.
at Nicholas's church. You have been treated to an Amsterdam cruise trip with a lovely host, a lovely captain and a lovely crew to enjoy a virtual holiday. Opposite the mouth, the original mouth. When, when you have in heaven beef, it is that beef. Best beef in the world, yeah? Best beef in my life. We might have it tonight. <laughs> we, got, we, we never know, we might be lucky. Okay, ik hoop dat het een beetje leuk was. I hope you enjoy the tour. And when you leave the boat, look. Mind your head. The audio. The koptelefoon is the headphone now, Sneaky. Kopfeller, you can drop it here in the box. Yeah. This and now is it's very important. If you want to give your captain a talk of your appreciation, uh, drink health, thank you, thank you, and well, enjoy your stay, and, and I hope for you, good weather, no rain. Thank you. What is your name for my film? Freddy. Fre Fre Freddy. Frederick. I'm Danny. Frederick. Nice to meet you, Frederick. Yeah? I'm Danny. I'm nice to meet you, Frederick. Danny, yeah. Thank you. And our captain was called Frederick, and this is our crew, and we all love you. There's Andreas, Martin, Duffy, and Peter. And I am your host, Danny Michael Snugget. Let's try it on. I filmed the whole trip, everybody. If anyone wants my card, I'll leave it here. here. If anyone wants my card, can I film it? I'll leave it there, alright? No, I filmed the whole trip. Right. That is how you can see it, alright? Help yourself and spread the love. And that is Amsterdam Boat Cruises 2019 with Danny Sluggett Vision and my beautiful crew. I love you all. Shine on. And Freddie is a great captain. We love you, Freddie. Always. Love you all. <laughs>